Hagar, a pure-hearted religious woman who is married and blessed with three children. She was always generous and kind to everyone surrounding her. So, she assigned her lawyer to take care of the inheritance after her father's death. So, the lawyer took advantage of that and used some of her signatures to frame a crime accusing her of stealing money. The court sent her to prison for two years of punishment. She was devastated, but she was patient and relied on Allah's wisdom and asked him for keeping her steady. She agreed with her husband to never tell her children that she was in prison and when they asked, the father would tell them that their mother was on a work trip. With some help, she managed to call her children every now and then from prison to make sure they're okay. One night, Hagar felt how much she was missing her children, so she started crying and remembered Allah's Messenger's Hadith. Nothing is more honorable before Allah than supplication. So she started praying to Allah to get her to see her children at least just for one time. She was upset but assured that Allah wouldn't reject a prayer from a broken heart. As next morning she was bailed out by the prison manager to go free. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ She couldn't believe it but she ran to her house to hug her children and stay with them until in the evening. She was asked to go back to prison as it turned out that it was a mistake with the name. Hagar said while crying, I am a miser with my prayers. I prayed to see my children and if I prayed instead to be let go, Allah would have done that. Allah gives us what we ask for. She didn't quit praying to Allah to be bailed out. Two days later, she received the same news as the previous time and before she asked the prison manager to check for the name, she found her disloyal lawyer standing there apologizing to her and confessing to his fabrications of paper and signatures. He let go of the case and she was finally bailed out. Hagar then prostrated, thanking Allah and went back home to her children with her chin up and proud. وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ دُعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَكْبِرُونَ عَنْ عِبَادَتِي سَيَدْخُلُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِرِينَ